Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight for the news at six o'clock. I'm Tanya Mendes. An intense manhunt is still underway in Chester County. Day five and still no sign of the suspect, Tyler Terry. He's wanted for several murders. On Friday, deputies charged Adrian Simpson and 27 year old Tyler Terry with 33 year old Eugene Simpson's murder. Terry is also accused of firing shots at deputies during a high speed pursuit when Chester County deputies were trying to stop his vehicle on Monday. There's also been a big bump in the cash reward being offered for any tips that lead to his arrest. It's now up to $12,000. For the latest on the manhunt, WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us live from Chester County now. Lexi, what's the latest? What can you tell us? Well, Tanya, we just spoke to the Chester County Sheriff's moments ago, and he says it's been a long five days and they're tired, but they're more determined than ever to find Terry. Now, today there is around 125 officers searching for the suspect. The FBI is still assisting in the search, and really for these last five days, it's been all hands on deck. Now, deputies are still focusing on the area of Sloan Road and Fishing Creek. They also expanded their search into Fort Lawn. Authorities are asking people in the area to pay attention to barns, crawl spaces and outbuildings. They say do not check these places yourself, but be aware of any unusual activity. Now, law enforcement will be conducting welfare checks on neighbors and businesses in the area as this manhunt continues. Law enforcement officers are extremely tired, um, frustrated that it's gotten to this point. I recognize the community's frustrated that we don't have him in custody, and I can promise you there's nobody more frustrated than, than me. Um, however, um, I'm, I'm committed to doing everything. And again, if you see any suspicious activity or Terry himself, you are asked to call 911 immediately. And again, any tips leading to Terry, that's a $12,000 reward. Tanya? Let me ask you a question really quickly. Do officials know if anybody's helping him at this point? He's been on the run for so many days now. Yeah, he really has, like I said earlier, five days. And we just spoke to the Chester County Sheriff who says no, at this time there is no evidence that anyone is helping Terry. And they do say that they have evidence to believe that he's not doing well and could be running out of food as well as any clean water. But again, they are just searching high and low for Terry. But of course, we'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. Tanya. All right, the manhunt continues. Lexi, thank you. Stick with WCNC Charlotte for the latest developments throughout the evening on air and online and inside the WCNC Charlotte News app.